What's going on, everybody? This is something you don't see me do often right here. It is early. It is hot. It's right at 4 o'clock. Um, I just figured I'd try to make a day video for once for catfishing, but I'll be honest with you. I don't expect much to happen in the heat like this, but you never know. I'm going to let you follow. And, of course, I think there's a thermocline out here which will mess up the fishing um but i don't know i figure i'd try try to make a day video for once instead of at night all the time but uh nothing's changed really except the bait i normally come out here net shad thread pin, but i came out here with just some wigglers and caught uh 10 or 12 brim and i've got cut brim for bait because i think the blue cats are really eating brim right now post spawn it's july 24th um basically i'm in between an island and a hole so i got 50 foot over here at about 50 60 yards away there's 50 foot there's um low 30s to my left over here and i'm sitting in 34 foot of water so i'm kind of sitting in between that island goes up to kind of mid 20s low mid 20s over here so i'm kind of fishing some contour on the bottom um with the wind like it is today uh, if I'd have brought the, you know, some different rod and reels, I could drag pretty easy. But Lake Ufala is just not a lake you can drag really easy. Um, there's trees, stumps, crappy structure you can get hung. I mean, there's all kind of stuff you can get hung on up out here. But anyway, I'm gonna sit it out here for an hour or so. If nothing happens, I may move. I may move into shallower water, like eight, nine, ten foot of water, and cast them out and see what happens. But I got good fresh bait. Um, I'm set up right with the wind, double anchored up. Everything's staying pretty, staying pretty still for the most part. So I'll give it a shot, see what happens. But anyway, y'all hang with me. I'm gonna try to stick the heat, try to stick it out in this heat, and see what happens. So anyway, everything's still Carolina rigged, just on the bottom. I think ounce and a half lead circle hooks. And um, these are medium heavies, but they're not seven six medium heavies. They're seven foot GX2 ugly sticks which are not anywhere and doesn't near have the backbone of uh, like tangling with catfish, uh, big cat fever rods, uh, B&Ms, some other stuff you see out there for catfishing. So it still should be pretty fun if we can get a, you know, eight or nine, 10 pound blue on the line. So anyway, y'all, y'all hang with me, Let's see what we can do. right there almost
gracious, what a bite. Look at that right there. I don't even know if he got hooked up. Yeah, he's on there. Look at that and that line is that line's tangled up i don't even know how i can have up here get it out of the way of everything let me tell you something guys this right here ain't a bad blue at all for this body of water that's a seven eight seven eight pound blue cat easy all day i got two rods in the, no three rods in the water <laughs> how about that Man, you can hear the muscles in this fish's gut. All right, I'm going to put this fish back, get baited up. I may just stay right here. 
but the wind shifted. It's coming out of the northwest uh, instead of out of the east now. So I may have to change. I may have to move anyway. I may move up. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But anyway, just had a quadruple, basically. Woo! Love it. Love it. Get out of here, you crazy fish. Woo-hoo! Boy, I got rods everywhere. We got a mess. We got a mess, but it's a good mess. It's a good mess to have. I got three rods with baits on them in the water. And this one technically probably was reeled in. It's probably not even. I don't even have them thrown out yet and already got a good bite. Had to completely move because of the wind shift. I was facing the west, now I'm facing the northeast. Feels like a decent little fish. seven foot medium heavy ugly stick so it's got enough backbone to bite a decent fish. Tell you what, be sure it's staying down. be a pretty good fish. He just blew some bubbles that look like a jacuzzi. Might be a pretty good fish. Heads up. Okay. He don't like getting close to the boat. I don't know if y'all can see that rod or not, but he is he's giving it a workout. Got a boat that came by, so we're gonna have to wait. Now he's going that way. He's doing whatever he wants right now. I'm gonna let him. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good blue cat for Lake Eufaula. thousand series real it's got plenty of drag yeah that's a good blue cat for lake you call it shoot you yeah. trying to get him in the net without causing a catastrophe I can 
get a hold of him here. Rods out, this dude hit. Must have threw it right on top of his head. Huge hit. That's a good blue cat, Lake Eufaula, Alabama. Fishes. That fish is 15 or 16 pounds all day. Your wide head on him. Dang good bite. Alright. Yeah, he's good to go. We'll put him back in the water. That was fun. Let's do it again. Okay, you ready? Shoot, yeah. Take that all day, buddy. Woohoo! Take that all day. Man, get another piece of bait out there. See if we can do it again. on some cut brim today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. 
Barely hooked. Story of my life. Barely hooked. That's another jam up Luke at right there. And talk about fun on this equipment, on this tackle. That's an 11, 12 pound blue cat all day. Maybe even 13, he's fat. That's some weight on it. All right, cuz, let's put you back. That was fun, thank you, sir. Break my wrist, thanks. Before you get out of here, aren't you? Well, I tell you, if you'll let go, Good one, fish. I enjoyed it. Now, that, was fun. that was some kind of fun. Let's do it again. Almost hit a, a Richard Gene fishing machine there. Whoa. Whoa. Man, that was fun. Let's do her again. Good gracious. Let's do it again. You know you're spoiled when it's been 12 minutes since you last got a bite and you're thinking it's getting slow. I'm not moving though. The wind's finally, I mean it's changed a little bit, but I just, the way the contour is on the bottom here, there's going to be more fish moving in and out of this ditch. So I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere, but it has been about 12 minutes since a bite, but I'm not going anywhere. I mean... I still got two hours of fishing here about. I'll probably sit here the entire time. There'll be more fish moving. So what's behind the boat, straight out the back of the boat? Oh my gosh. There it was. I don't know if you saw it, because I was probably in the way, but this one just got me camera. I mean hook up because he hammered it and I mean hammered it the hook went back into the bait if it does that you're never going to get them it's got to stay like that it's got to stay like that god he smoked that thing too everything in and wait to see what this stupid thing is going to do. So I had to take cover off the main lake. It was, ex I mean, it was getting bad out there. Um, my anchors weren't even holding so um, I'm in a creek now this is best scenario I could get right now this creek is jugged every weekend every time I come in here there's jugs out here now so that there's no telling I ain't expecting a whole heck of a lot but I got about an hour left to fish so I figured might as well play it safe come back in here but I mean there's tons of cover in here I just want my anchors and my equipment back honestly I'll just take that but uh, there's tons of bait always in here. There's crappie in here. There's got to be catfish moving in here. But I'm in the I'm in 17 foot of water. The channel is out the back of the boat. So we'll see what happens. Just hang with me. All right, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, they didn't do anything. Gave them about 15 minutes. That's about all I was willing to give them before I had to get out of here. It's gonna be weird getting home and not having it be dark. So I'm gonna get out of here. I got work tomorrow. Y'all like this video subscribe do all that cool stuff i wish i had been able to stay out on the lake the entire time because i wasted time in that creek and the wind just was a factor but anyway i had a good time i caught a couple of good fish on uh, this lighter stuff and it was really fun so anyway i'll catch y'all on the next video see y'all